Hello friends, it's Prajwal Patak this side and you are watching my YouTube channel PyGuru. Friends, in the last video we discussed about how can we set up Sublime Text 3 and Python on our Windows operating system. Okay, I also said there that in the next video we will be learning how can we run our Python code or files on Android. Okay, so here I am with this tutorial. In this tutorial I am gonna show you how can you run your Python files and codes on the Android. Okay, so for this we have to install an application named PyDroid 3. So to install it simply open your play store okay and search here PyDroid 3 see my the recent search that is PyDroid 3 you have to install this application okay this application is around 4 to 5 MB in size so you can simply install it okay and it nearly supports all of the major python libraries so you don't have to worry about your windows or uh, windows python codes will run without any error on this application okay so let's open this uh, application here uh, I have kept my PyDroid 3 okay so when you will first open it several files will install so let's get them installed okay so these are the files that will be installing when you will first open uh, PyDroid 3 okay and let's get them installed and we will move further okay And nearly PyDroid 3 setup is almost done. And let 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 let. let. Oh, yep. So it's nearly installed. Okay. And see the the inter interface that is first opened uh, is called the file. Okay. Here we can write longer Python codes. Okay. See here you can write on the right side. Uh, you can write your python codes and on the left side it shows the line number okay so this is a file here you can write as long uh, code you want okay and also save it let me do okay uh, for example i'm writing hello world okay and in the next line you can write uh, this is pyrite 3 okay and Oh, I'm first going to save it. Okay. Uh, one more, one interesting feature of Pyroid 3 is that you don't have to save your file for running it, running it. Okay. Unlike other applications on Windows, you first have to save file, then you can run it. But here, you can simply run the file without saving it by pressing this yellow icon, yellow run icon. Okay. Press this, and our file file will get executed. See here, I got the result. Hello world. This is Python 3. Okay. So it's working fine. To save it. Uh, from the top menu select the file manager icon okay and either you can use save or save as so i'm going to use a save as okay allow okay and internal storage wherever you want to save it just save it i'm select folder from here and new file.py okay this uh, you can change the name and remember .py is the extension of python file so you have to keep the .py extension okay so save it okay and now at the top you can see that a file is saved as new file.py okay and at any point of time suppose you want to see where you have saved your python file so just write this uh, one line code in the file and when you run it you will get the location of a file see this is the location of file storage emulated zero this is the general location of internal memory okay this is the parent internal memory you can if you open your internal memory you will see your new file.py file there okay so this is how you can use files now let's see how can we use the interpreter to use the interpreter see on the left side uh, above the uh, line numbers select the hamburger menu and from here select interpreter okay and this will open the interpreter for us you can use it to write one liner quotes and when you will press enter it will get automatically executed okay instantly so remember uh, like windows uh, you cannot save your file or code written in interpreter okay so if you want to save your code and use it in future you have to write in a file okay so it works nearly as same as uh, like other interpreters if you run this command you will get zero okay so this is how it works uh, the ideally uh, sorry interpreter and now let's see how can we use the terminal to use the terminal again uh, use uh, select the hamburger menu and from here select terminal okay uh, terminal is generally used to uh, run python files and take input from user okay 
uh, here see at the beginning we have created a new file.py so if you want to run that file simply type python okay and that new file.py okay new file.py is my python file name and when you will press enter the code written inside it will get executed okay see uh, this was the code that we have written in the starting hello world this is python 3 and the python location okay so this is how you can use terminal you can also take user input okay from argv okay uh, if you have not learned it we will be discussing it in some other video in detail okay so this is how you can use into uh, terminal now let's see how can we use the pip okay using pip is actually very easy in the case of pirate tree so simply select this uh, hamburg menu and from here select pip okay and here are several options that uh, by which you can install your uh, modules or libraries uh, from the top search libraries libraries they see uh, pirate tree already comes with some pre-installed libraries like Android, Asteroid, or your stream. These are several libraries that are pre-installed, so you don't have to install them. Okay, and you can search libraries here. Okay, and if you want to install any library, simply you can install it by here typing library name. Okay, for example, suppose I want to uh, install a library called Request, so I will simply type Request. Okay, and when you press install, Request will get installed on our system. Okay, using prebuilt. Okay, let it get installed see it's first installing the wheel okay wheel is the package from where uh, python libraries are installed okay so uh, okay so we have successfully installed requests okay similarly if you want to install beautiful soup for type beautiful soup for and yep it will get installed okay <laughs> yep we have successfully installed beautiful so for and if you there are several quick quick install libraries available here like tensorflow OpenCV, python these are available in premium uh, pirate tree so if you want to use them you can um, buy it okay and there are some more uh, libraries like pyqt5 Python, jupyter okay but uh, pirate tree also support jupyter so if you use, want to use jupyter you can also use it okay matplotlib numpy pandas and nearly pillow okay so most of the libraries work here fine okay so you can use them if you want okay so this is how you can use pip now see let's see there are several settings that you can apply for example this is white background if you want to change it you can change it from this setting menu okay settings and appearance and editor theme and select dark okay you can select any theme that you want and see now we have a dark background okay so this is it and there are several terminal settings you can also change the terminal settings okay if you want uh, for example white text on black and let's hollow blue okay you can select any color that you want so if you now run this you will see this got changed to blue color okay so this you can change the appearance font size tab width okay etc from menu as per your convenience okay uh, similarly if you want to import any file uh, like we have recently installed uh, request so if you want to use request simply type request import request okay and let me run a code r equals requests dot get okay and let me write uh, uh, url here triple w dot google dot com okay so i'm i want to check whether this website is currently working or not so if i type uh, uh, printer simply run printer and you will see if I get status code at 200, it means everything is working fine. See, response is 200. So we have a uh, request library that we have installed uh, recently from the pip is currently uh, working fine. Okay, so this is how you can use most of the features uh, available in Python by Pyder3. So this is a quite good application. Okay, so I've covered nearly all of the topics. How can you run all of your files? So now uh, hope this helps you. Uh, even if you have any doubt uh, now, you can ask it in the comment section, okay? If you are new to my channel, subscribe it. Thank you. See you in the next video.